count is in session. Hello, everybody. Greetings and salutations and hi. Greetings and hello. Welcome to Turnabout Corner Day 3 Trial, January 9th, 2022, 2341-24. How are you doing? It is finally time to finish case two of this video game. Couch will now reconvene. That is correct. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry for not streaming the past couple of days. I've been moving and cleaning and unpacking shit from where I was in Kansas to where I am now in Oklahoma, unfortunately. So that's, I mean, it's not done yet, but it's pretty much, it's done enough for me to be here streaming again. And I've been itching to get back into the courtroom. I tell you what, I'm very excited to get back in there and have a great time. Uh, if the audio is a little wonky or bad or my microphone sounds off and I apologize, because when I was setting up all of my audio equipment, I might have bumped some knobs, which might have turned me up or down, and I don't know. It's it's probably fine. Do I sound fine? I'm, I'm sure I sound fine. Webcam Ouija? That is a thing that I could do at some point. Uh, I, I, I could bust out the webcam, and we could... I mean, I do need to eat more weeds. Maybe I do a eat a bunch of weeds stream and also uh, watch the... Oh, God, what is it? Like the Danganronpa 2 musical. Like last time. That was kind of silly when we did it. Kingdom Hearts 2 time win. Uh, just as soon as I figure out how to import the save file that you gave me. Which is the thing that I tried to do, but I was too stupid. So I, I have to look into it a little bit more. So maybe tomorrow finish Kingdom Hearts 2 Friday? That could be fun. Perhaps. Maybe. Blue Stacks Apollo Justice? Yes. Hi, Adriana. Hello. How are you doing? I gotta start taking these drinks right now. So I will do it. Please do it Saturday or Sunday. I'm at work tomorrow. I can do that. I mean, it is your save file. I, I don't want to, like, do it without you here. It feels like, uh, like stabbing you in the back. Prelio7, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Holbrook Spam. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What's tomorrow then? I don't know. Yakuza? Maybe? I don't know. Who's to say? To keep up with the schedule, I should be playing Yakuza right now, actually. Uh, but I just, I want to finish Case 2 really badly. I'm having fun playing it. I want to keep on playing it. And so here I am playing it a little bit more. I got to start taking these drinks. Also, not only that, I need to make a tweet stating that I am live on this Twitch account. And I made that tweet. Now I have to make a Discord community announcement post to my Discord server at every... Pony, there we go. That's more like it. Um, and now everyone knows that I am live currently. Everyone that matters. And I'm sure Twitch will do its job and send out notifications as it is intended to do. Because that is the function of the website. And why would the website betray us? It shouldn't, is the answer. Cheers to the first drink of the night. Which isn't true because I've already taken a couple of drinks before I click start stream, but that's fine. But still... The first real drink of the night. All that other stuff didn't count. It's it's totally negated. Uh, my blood alcohol level is zero. But now it's time to change that. Cheers. Yes, yes, very good. Pet Marnie. If you have the uh, ability to post the pet, Adriana pet, uh, I want to see it in chat. I like it, and it makes me happy. That's going to be me later this month when I'm petting that dog. I can't wait. I'm so excited. You didn't hit enter in the Discord? That's not true. How will they know? I posted it right now. Apollo Justice Case 2 Final... Wait, is this the right... No. Don't you try to troll me, asshole. You can't trick me. What are you, some type of fancy-dancy prosecutor with a $25 haircut or something? I don't think so. I don't think so, mister. You're not going to trick me so easily. I'm not so easily fooled. Okay, we got to take a few more drinks and then it's uh, game time. So cheers, again. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know what to expect in today's couch session, uh, but I know I can do it. I just have to think with 100% of my brain, which is something that I always do anyway. That's Canny. Thank you very much for the prime, That's Canny. Happy Lawyer Thursday, everyone. Hello and thank you. Uh, it's third degree Thursday is is where Adriana and I landed on that one. It's not the best, uh, but it'll do. It'll do. The defendant is innocent. You can't criticize them. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm here to say right now. Cheers to... Oh, we got to do like uh, two more drinks, then it's game time. Oh, yeah. 
of course, we are going to do all of this court session in one stream. Um, unless I get really mad and rage quit halfway through. In which case, it'll take two streams. Or maybe even three if I rage quit again after the fact. Which isn't going to happen. I'm just hypothetically speaking here, you know. Hypothetically, if I walked out of my door and I got hit by a meteorite, uh, I would die. But it's, you know, it's pointless to speak like this. The Radical Capital. Thank you for 100 biddies. Super excited about Pop Quiz. List the names of Ace Attorney 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 bonus points if you list the names of the great Ace Attorney 1 and 2. Good luck. I can't do that. Uh, it's... It's Ace Attorney. No, fuck, I've already messed it up. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Justice for All. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Trials and Tribulations. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I don't know, and I don't know, and I don't know the great Ace Attorney ones either. So, boom, I did it. Out of curiosity, how did you try inserting the save file? I just downloaded the image, and then I dragged it into the save folder. I don't I, I If you can link me to, like, a video or something that could just show me step-by-step -step process, because I'm very bad at computers, you see. Uh, I just, I don't get all these newfangled computers, this, this technology. I don't get it. All you young kids, you're just like wizards out there on these things. I don't know how you do it. There isn't a video, I'm being very honest, I assumed it would work, but, uh, well, it didn't, so, yeah, <laughs> if you can find out and then let me know, that would be good. I, I really hope you did not waste all that time making that save file for me to not be able to use it. There's gotta be a way. I'm 100% sure you can do it, but I do not know how. Anyway, enough stalling, time for me to take a couple more drinks and then we will play the game. I'm very excited for this stream. Me too! This is my first time streaming back in my apartment in Oklahoma in like two years. Actually, that's not true. We had the Weed weed Day, Marine Day stream. Uh, that was just a nightmare. Just a, just a wild time. Uh, and now I'm back. And it's gonna be great, and I'm totally not going to get any noise complaints. I know it. It's gonna be so good. Did you move the other save file out of the folder? I don't think so? Is that a thing that I have to do? Because I could do it. We'll, we'll talk about it after stream. I don't know. This this is neither here nor there right now. I got a lot on my plate already. We must defend Walkie Talkie. This is what has to happen right now, and I'm going to do it too. When are you going to watch the Ace Attorney stage play? Ooh, that does sound awesome. <laughs> uh, eventually. Okay, enough of this. Turn off the music. Cut the music. It is time for Turnabout Corner Day 3 Trial. Yes, I'm ready. Trucy, don't pull any of this dumb Mr. Hat shit again. I swear to God, I'm going to get thrown into contempt so fast. June 17th, 9.52 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number two. Oh, it is loud, 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 loud. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot again that uh, you have to turn down the volume preemptively. Excuse me while I do that. Sorry. Uh, th thank you for a, a hundred bits, though. I appreciate it. Almost, almost there. Okay, we're fine. Sorry about that. At least, you know, the music does go hard, so it's okay. Uh, what were we talking about? The Radical Capital, 100 bits. I am unironically so hyped for you to play AA5 and 6. I love them so fucking much. I could scream, I love you. Thank you. I love you parasocially as well, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Uh, are we good? Okay, we're good. This is it, the big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, three days worth. Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. That's only two hours, Apollo. She's smart, she should be the attorney. That was good math, that's quick math. But at least you have me. Yeah, that's great. And Mr. Fucking Hat. Oh, that's so good. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. Is that that voice? You! What are you doing here? Get any sleep? Well, I just had this conversation. I'm not doing it again. Mr. Wright! I was going out of my mind with boredom. So I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the uh, Indocian Pasta Joint seem almost fun. Indocian? Is that how you pronounce that? May I don't know. Who cares? Daddy, do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess! Hmm, how about Little Plum? Ahaha, <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope, guess again. That's too bad, you know. Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. Whoa, okay, 
let's let's have that conversation later. We we are kind of in the middle of something right now, Trucy. This is a weird thing to just bring up. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trucy. Is this a regularly occurring thing? God, that's got to get old fast. <laughs> But where is mom? Who is mom and where is she and what? It's Von Karma. It's gotta be Von Karma. I know it. I'm calling my shot right now. It was Von Karma all along. A series of tubes, thank you for the 100 biddies. Now hear me out, little plum, little Judd. You might be onto something there. Okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. She's going to be a witness? But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Yeah, it's, it's third degree Thursday. Of course something's going down. It's very important. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. Stop! Stop it, young lady. Stop it. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out, uh, out of there. No, you don't need to pull anything out of your panties, Trucy. I, I insist. I insist it's okay. Anyway, Your Honor, June 17th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Give it up for courtroom number four. Count is in session for the trial of Walkie Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up and it's a sold out house. Just talk normal, man. Very well, to recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party, guilty of panty snatching, that's, yes, I'm glad you were there, it shows. We did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Air Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. What is that? What do you mean? The outside? What? The acquisition of the murder weapon, the preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you see. To his betrothed! His betrothed? His fiance, Air Judge. His partner for life with no chance of par for parole. Very well, you may show the, <laughs> the erm, lucky lady to the stand. Okay, there she is. It's the lucky lady. Your name and occupation, Fraulein. Alita Tiala, my occupation is future wife. <laughs> Shoot for the stars, girls! Ah, traditional values! I respect that, fucking boomer. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution? To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. I mean, it is my fiancé after all. But I couldn't hide the truth. Mmm, honest honesty? Another admirable trait. Judge, you can't fuck this one. Every woman that walks into this courtroom, the judge just, like, tries to fuck her. It's not cool. Fraulein. Is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Walkie Tonky confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yeah. The witness will please give her testimony to the count. Well, gee, that's uh, that's not good. But we gotta find something. I, I gotta review all my evidence, man. I'm kind of we have so many things. Walkie's plan. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how, don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. Okay. Well, he didn't admit to anything. Let the record show, Air Judge. So the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then? Yes. With regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki Mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it? Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. I remember having this conversation back in one, I want to say four? Was it one four? Yeah, it's gotta be. That was the gun case. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examine. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Jesus. Walkie's plan. 
We've got a lot of pressing to do, but first, oh my god, I have to pay attention to her fidgeting. Th this mechanic is stressing me the hell out, man. I don't want to have to look at the sprite. I'm just trying to look at the words. I have enough trouble as is doing that. So, um, we have the mirror. I remember the mirror. We have the bowl. This could be a, this could be a surprise tool that will help us later. We why do we still have Trucy's panties? They do not belong to us. Give them back. Cell phone retrieved from Aractus Clinic. Do we what happened with this? Like, what's the deal with this? Is it hers? Is this her phone? It might be her phone. Hmm. Found in the Miraculous Clinic garage beneath a car. Property of West... Oh, wait, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, right. Okay. I. It's It's been a few days. You, you gotta cut me some slack here. I don't really remember all these things. That's why we're going over all the evidence. A memento of right and sky. Examine fingerprints to detect and match prints. Okay. I don't think that's important. Miraculous autopsy report. Uh, time of death, June 14th after 10 p.m. Cause of death. Single bullet to the right temple. Palmaractus, age 46, male, June 14th, between 10.15 p.m. and 10.45 p.m. Cause of death, damage to the brain resulting from bullet wound. Points of interest, entry point, right temple. Correct. All these things are right. I have verified it. The knife, type evidence, retrieved from People Park. Also known as a shiv, you know. Found at the crime scene bearing Walkie's prints. Yes, the stand. We, we don't need to think about the stand. It's not important right now. Little Plums Bloomers, found in a trash can at People Park, stolen by Wesley Stickler. Yes, 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 this is all well and good. Here's the gun. This might be important. It just might be. Weapon left at the crime scene. Two rounds were fired. Fingerprints were wiped. Slippers used by patients at the Miraculous Clinic. Big toe print found in left slipper. Alita's sandals. <sighs> Present from Walkie, found in Miraculous Clinic foyer. Big toe print found on left sandal. Lamp. Good old lamp. Well, how is the lamp going to play into this? Found in the Maractus Clinic office with a broken bulb and a red stain on the cord. Walkie's charts. Oh, yeah, this seems important. Found in the Maractus Clinic safe. Uh, signed by Nurse Alita Tiala. Oh, yeah, I forgot that she's the one who actually did that. What is all this? Yeah, so we... Bullet lodged near heart. That's what the stupid not writing says. Okay, okay, this is important. So how does this tie into everything, though, huh? There's the bullet. Retrieved from the Maractus Clinic office. Found in the Maractus Clinic safe. Squished from impact with the back of the safe. But why? But who would have done such a thing? Is there anything here that I need to, like, actually examine? Let's find out. Wow, it's all mushed! That was one tough safe. You know, it looks kind of yummy. What? Huh? Like ice cream, mmm, mmm, caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. I would have assumed that she was gonna say it looked like a muffin. Does it look like ice cream? When I think ice cream, this is not the image that immediately pops into my head. I gotta be honest, it's just, it's not. Yeah, like a cupcake or a muffin, but uh, ice cream? What the hell kind of ice cream is she eating? I gotta have a talk with your father. You're not getting the good stuff. Okay, uh, let's start pressing now that I know all of the facts about this case. Now, it is time for me to take one more drink though, before I do that. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. Okay, okay. Maybe she orders it in a cup. It's a weird looking cup. That was the day, and also does that mean that she eats the cup? Considering it's Trucy, that would not surprise me. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yeah, everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Waki looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So, you were there at the time? Yes, poor Waki. She's a snitch. She is not a real one. Waki's got to kick her ass to the curb immediately. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. Hold it! Does he even have a pilot's license? That must have been, erm, um, quite frightening. He was furious! He ripped his report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A bothersome chore, but one I performed without complaint. <laughs> what a needless detail. Yeah, it was, it was really annoying, but, you know, I did it, and I did it really well, and I didn't even complain about it either. That's how cool I am. 
Walkie's at an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Wee woo, wee woo. We have raised a red flag in this woman. Uh oh. I don't. I do not like this. This is a. Uh, Fellas, if she ever says that, it's time to do a 360 and walk away. I don't like that. That makes me feel, uh, uncomfortable. Okay. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. Yeah, but that's what makes him so cute. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols, dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. It's Daddy, Little Plum, or Walkie Talkie. Those are the only three people that could take out a pistol. I do remember talking about that, I think. But Walkie's a special case, being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special? Ja. Ja. Well, maybe he is a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Thank you, Trick Starfy. Trick Starfy? Star five. For the hundred bits, I can fix them. Yes. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. What the fuck are we? What? Sounds like he has a taste for sweets and danger. The point here being that Walkie had access to a pistol. Yes, yes, yes. That was. That was this knife, right? Wait, is this made out of gum? This isn't a gum knife, is it? Wait a fucking second. This isn't gum. Quick! Trucy, I need you to bite this really hard and tell me if it's gum or not. No, no, there's just no way. And where is the chocolate tombstone? I don't even see it. Okay, and you already know what happened that night. Could you just tell us again though, please? What happened, meaning the murder? I tried to stop him, I really did, but Walkie wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. Simp judge. You goddamn simp judge! I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it! Okay. Me neither, but I'll figure it out, don't worry. How can you say that for certain? How? Ah! Uh, what? Stop it! No slamming, air forehead. You will refrain from badgering the front eye. It was the defendant, erm, um, Walkie, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not, simple logic, ja. That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything else to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Um, could someone else? I mean, okay, so if he fired one time and there's two bullets, then yeah, someone else. Well, but no, we know that there was a bullet in the safe and how the fuck did that get there? And it had to come from this gun, right? I think so. Uh, two rounds were fired, fingerprints were wiped. There's... It had to be Walkie, there was another. Well, we know he didn't do it, therefore there has to be another. That's just the only thing that makes sense. Based and red-pilled on your testimony, there was clearly another! One other person had access to that piss. It was Little Plum or Dada. What's this? Hmm, interesting! Let's ask the defense then! Tell the count who this other person with access was. Um, Little Plum. Wife to the fourth Kataki family boss, busy cleaning up paint spilled by her front gate. Okay, okay. And then there's Dad. Fourth boss of the Kataki family, Walkie's father, trying to get out of the gangster business. Uh, well, there's... Those are the two people that could have done it, right? That's kind of what we were talking about. Want to save? Uh, it's a little bit late for that, and also, nah, I don't need it. I don't even need it, man. So was it, I mean, mom? <sighs> hmm. No, wait, no, hmm. Was it dad? Did dad do it all along? Probably not. But mom wouldn't do it either. But they're the only two people with access, which means somebody got it out and then somebody else fired the pistol? But then who? Tell the court who this other person with access, well, we're talking about access. Okay, this is important. This is an important distinction. Let's get, no, no. I got my eye on you, but for now I'll say no. Maybe, no. Oh, was it her? Did she do it? I mean, that's the fiance, woman who requested that I defend her fiance. No, no. So this is a maybe, no, no. Uh, maybe, 
it's it's not him. That's <laughs> that's kind of what we're arguing right now. And then no, obviously, and then no, obviously. So we have you and you and you. It, was it was it girl? Did she do it all along? Am I stupid? Is this obvious and I'm not seeing it? Well, if I get this wrong, then I'm going to guess mom. And if I get that wrong, then I'll guess dad. How about that? Take that. Well, of course. I mean, you, Miss Tiala. Huh? m m m m m m m m m m m m you were quite clear when you told the court you heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning! That's a good point. Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé, Slam, and killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? Well, eventually, I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this? It does seem a bit... Unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and you and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I'd hope you do more than hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? Hmm? A connection between the witness and the victim? I know what that is! Where is it? Where is it? It's this one. No, that's the checkup. Where, where's the one that we found in the safe? The nurse! Walkie's charts, type document retrieved from Maractus Clinic, found in the Maractus Clinic, signed by Nurse Alita Tial. Ooh, ooh, we're getting there. A connection between the witness and the victim? We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiance. Hmm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm st uh, starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness and the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. It's this one. It has to be pleased. No way, it's not. That looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on this chart. What? Miss Tiala? Wh whatever. Why is your name on this chart? Huh? Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? Hmm? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Judge. What? Our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? It's happening. The cute, innocent girl turned out to be a major psychopathic bitch, and now she's being all smug about it up on the witness stand. That has to be a drink. We, th if, if that's not already a drinking rule, come on. The next time I see a cute girl up on the witness stand, I'm just going to go the Hail Mary and say it was her, okay? It's gotta be her. There's no way it wasn't her. Watch it not be her. Oh, I don't know, man. Cheers. Oh. Miss Tiala, you testified that you had no connection to the victim. Yeah, I lied, and I don't, comma, now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. I don't know if that's how this, judge, come on. Come on, judge. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy, dot, 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 who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? That's not true at all, why I... I embrace the ones I love. Past... Well, okay, this is not... There's no connection now. It doesn't fly in a court of law. You would think? Doesn't fly? We don't have our pilot's license. You know this. She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Kitakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true, but you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Oh, Jesus. I mean... That she is connected to the Maractus Clinic. Would that not just be the fucking... Your Honor, did you look at the chart that I just handed you? Once, twice sold. Gifted a tier one sub. Thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you. Uh, am I, am I major overthink? Found in the Maractus Clinic safe, signed by nurse Alita Tiala. Is this, this is too obvious, right? What? It's not just this, but again, is it? Well, I suppose I could see. Oh, what now? And forehead, this trail you, uh, you think you have found, it doesn't lean to the truth. Nor to a long career in the legal profession, ja. Gee, thanks. 
Perhaps you allow me to do the honors? Oh, God. I'm taking damage now. Let's rock! He's doing it! Was that really necessary? Was all of that truly necessary? I'll take the usual penalty next time, thank you. Very well, Mr. Justice, try again. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Okay, it wasn't that simple. <laughs> still connected. How are they still? How are they still connected? Uh, God, do I have? I mean, there's, uh, there's, there's some slippies. W what, a what about the slippies? Have we considered the slippies, maybe? Um, retrieve from the entrance of People Park. But wait, we know the print of this, right? We, we know. Who was this print? This was her print, right? It has to be. Yes. This one. It's got it's gotta be the shoes. Think about the shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god? Oh okay. Uh what is what is going on here? Why why am I struggling right now? Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. You know, like just in case. Return no, that's that's quite fine. Whose foot was it? Was it? I thought it was her foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I lost. It's not going super smoothly. I'll take the usual penalty next time. Thank you. In fact, can I? No, I can't save right now. Uh, present from the walkie found in a Ratchet's Clinic for you. Hey, big toe print found in... It's this, it's this shoes. These are the shoes. These are the shoes that were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I, <laughs> see, I got there. I, I knew it had something to do with the feet. I, I, I got there at the end of the day, okay? There's, there's not going to be any more annoying hiccups like that ever again, I promise you. But, you know, like, just to, you know, just to make sure, though. No, I don't want to return to the title screen. Thank you, though, for the offer. I appreciate it. Ah, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fraulein, but your act isn't working. Huh? Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware that toes leave toe prints? So I've heard. That's what I thought. A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Okay. Well... Now we see your true colors, your footmen. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Hmm, this court thinks you need to worry less about Walkie and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic, you bitch. Which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. Yes, there is, so please just tell the goddamn truth. Very well, the witness will tell us about the visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? Why did she do it? <sighs> the Maractus Clinic. I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to a war to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. Okay. The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. Aside from all those dark secrets that I was literally just hiding for some reason, haha, don't worry about it, don't look into it, haha. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. Okay. By mistake, you mean? Hmm, the mistake we heard about from the defendant? The botched operation? He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know. Hmm, do you not have a phone? That does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, ja. Then why did she not wear them home? If they were... If it were me and I were hypothetically going to kill somebody hypothetically, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home too. They're very stylish. So why were the sandals left behind? Huh? Ack! He pointed out the contradiction before me. There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Does it have something to do with the, the shoe? Say, for instance, 
There happened to be a similar pair of sandals there, which you wore home by mistake, hmm? Actually, that's right. I'm, in, I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh my god. Oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Ja forehead. Oh, what the? No fair. He's filling the hole, filling the holes in her testimony. Stop it. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Go on, go on. Okay. The Maractus Clinic. Let's start the pressing. I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. And you know what? Like, just to make absolutely positively sure, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... I've already lost so much health. I got two things wrong, and I'm like fucking half health already. That is unforgiving. That is brutal. These are long cases, man. Hi, fairy. Filling the whole fairy. Stop it. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't know, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time you had contact with Miss Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. But you just said he was an old friend, you bitch! Your uh, objection right now! So, why did you go to the clinic that, today, that day? Well, because of the murder. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Wonky had the pistol. Okay. Did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Wonky, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in pro- That's what I said! Kind of. It, I mean, the, the, we, we're basically saying the same thing right now. I have been forgetting to look at her sprites. I need to pay attention to her sprites. I, I'm seeing the armband that I have, the cool band. I'm scared that I'm missing something. I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until after 9 p.m. that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, Ja. I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor... Dot, dot, dot. The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Okay. You mean that act of malpractice on Waki, correct? If he had just told Waki the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. True! That operation was the start of this whole affair. Oh, of course, if he'd told him, he might have been erased by the Katakis much earlier. A disturbing thought! We know that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kataki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police, even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. Okay. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. Hee 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 hee. No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something, probably dark and secretive. I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend, but you just said that you, he's not the type of boss that you make friends with. Is it whenever she touches her face, is this her lying sprite? Is this it? How do I call her out? Why are you touching your face so much? You nervous Nelly. But then you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him, for us. She went to warn him so that her fiance would not have to commit such a crime, Ja. I didn't want them to take my walkie away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic and fast. Oh, what really did happen at that clinic and fast? I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. Gotcha. Why else would she have gone to the clinic that night? Um, well, sandals. Lamp was in the clinic. What about the safe? What about the fucking bullet? Well, that's, I mean, that was in the safe, but she, something about this report? This is the report that she wrote. But if other people have access to the copies already, then is that a uh, patient named Palmaractus? Physician, that's not the patient. Waki Kataki, Palmaractus, a Lady Tiala. That's a boy. Bullet Lodge near heart. 
I'm not hiding any deep, deep dark secrets, haha, <laughs> totally not. Then why'd you go to the clinic? Just to warn him? We know that's a lie. We all know that's a lie. What is up with this? Did I inspect this lamp? Did I do, there's, the light bulb is broken, look. I don't remember doing this. The bulb is broken, it won't turn on. Oh, how is it broken? Don't touch that, you'll cut yourself. Eek! Yeah, yeah, fool me once, shame on me. My finger! Ah, you're bleeding! Let me see that. Wait. Magic, blood, hee <laughs> hee, gotcha. Please don't do that, that's not funny, man. I have enough to worry about without my coworkers injuring themselves on the evidence. Speaking of fake blood, is, is that some that I spy with my little eye? If I can actually get it, I, you, you know what I'm trying to look at. You see it, I see it, everybody fucking sees it. Yes, what is this? Well, what exactly? This cord runs to the lamp, it has a red stain. Hmm, gotta wonder what left that stain. Wait, I know, maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like, they were trying to write their name and they slipped. Why would you want to write your name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic ropes. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you, Trucy. Thank you so much for everything, Trucy. You are just... Oh, I thought I wanted to strangle Maya. Okay. First time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the thing. Uh, the doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark si That has to be the thing we have to present something on, right? Uh, am I missing the, the band in the top? Is this a the lid moment? Nah. Nah, she, she ain't fidgeting hard enough. Thank you, I need professional help for the 100 bits. Hey, Ouija and chat, I got my booster shot yesterday. Very much recommended. I'm sore and tired, though, so I don't know how long I'll stick around. That is understandable. I'm glad that you got boosted. And I also recommend doing that. Um, why else would I have gone? It's something in the safe. Well, the main thing that was in the safe was this thing, right? And didn't you, What was the code to the safe? I remember doing that whole thing, trying to find the code to the safe. Do we have that written down somewhere? Is that relevant? Maybe not. Yeah, this is probably it, right? You, I mean, the report that you wrote, this chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. That's important. Yeah. W why would this one chart be in that safe, hmm? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't ya? Huh? She's sweating, mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad air, doctor. <laughs> yes, I agree. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. Hmm. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means you knew about Walkie's failed operation. Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, don't it? Order, order. You're bold for a novice, I'll give you that. Huh, thank you. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony. Too bad, little attorney. Oh shit, I see it. I see it now. Huh, what? What? My heart, I'm having a heart attack. My bracelet reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Yes, remember? Just like yesterday, like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habits gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. What? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe. Yes, that has to be it. What? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. What? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Trucy. I don't have some kind of special power or anything. Wink. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony, but we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo, with your eyes and your senses. Like the sense of sight, preferably. Then it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow, touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Okay. Well, I can do it. Why would I go to that clinic? 
Uh, why would I go to the clinic now for half a year old chart? I don't know. Because you're interlocking your fingies? Is, is that what we're perceiving right now? Oh, wow. Touch. I, <laughs> uh, why would I go to the clinic? Do I loot? You're fiddling with your ring! Fiddler! Gotcha! I see you doing it. I can, I can sense it with my senses. Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ass? Dude, why are we about to fight Gygus in the background? This is insane. It's so scary. I hate it. But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. What? She was unsure. I saw it. Now, that's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. What? Which means something happened quite recently. AKA, now. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. Huh? I've got her on the ropes now. Now, 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 I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow with evidence. Okay. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. Because of fucking. Because obviously it became a threat to you now because. Not the cell phone, Maracas Autopsy, no. Not the knife, not the noodle stand, not little plums bloomers, walkie. Oh, wait a second, maybe that one? Not the pistol, not the slippers, not the Alita sandals, not the, mm, I don't know what it's, something's gotta be up with that lamp. I'm scared about that lamp. The bullet's probably not relevant. It's gotta be the, cause the other, the, the checkup, right? Yeah, it's gotta be the checkup, right? Type document, submitted as evidence by Prosecutor Gavin, results from a checkup performed by, in June, metallic object found near heart. Yes, urgent exam needed, because she knew. She knew! Oh yeah, you're so fucking done for now. A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Eh? Oh, nothing. Why should I think anything? My head is empty. Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself because you were afraid. You knew what Walkie's chest x-ray would reveal! Irk. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free when the chart came back to haunt you. Eek! Where are the feathers coming from? Is she a bird? We did it. We got you now! Admit it, you shot that dude! That's all, your honor. That was so cool. What? What just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? Imagine that. Imagine admit to, admitting to lying in this court. I just, I can't do it. It's unbelievable. Hmm. I sensed it too, by the way. I, I also knew. Let the record show. I also knew. By the way, there was a great aura <laughs> emanating from Air Forehead. Ugh. Very cool. He called me cool. Oh, squee. Thank you, Clavier. So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic, but her connection was deep indeed, a bit too deep. If the Katakis got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Well, thanks for confirming it. Order, order! I did it, I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo, I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait! Hmm? Miss Tiala? It's true, that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day and also lied multiple times in court. But that's all! I told him about walking and went home! Mm. Okay. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. Oh, it would appear to be the case, would it not, Clavier? What?! She hid the truth from us, this is clear, yet... It is not clear that this truth was in has anything to do with the case at hand. My ass and balls, hmm. No, very well, the witness will add to her testimony and we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Grr, I was so close. 
You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. I will. I will. Nothing happened at all. I warned him and I left, and that's totally all that happened. I promise. Definitely. Press it. How did Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised, panicky even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn a Kataki was after them? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we have had a... <laughs> we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attacker, the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. Well, what the hell was he supposed to do? Le leap over the fucking podium and beat him to death with a gavel? I don't think so. It's not his job. After which, I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus' office that day. Huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. I know, I know. Thank you once, twice, sold! Thank you. Yo, what's up, hacker? Hello? I know, I... <laughs> that is what I said. Verbatim. So, uh, cheers for that one. Oh, man. I wonder how many more times the Mr. Hat trick is going to work. That is... It's just, I still can't believe... That is one of the dumbest things that has ever happened in this stupid courtroom. <laughs> it was so great. And we cross-examined a parrot for crying out loud. Okay, but we can't prove when it happened, nor that Alita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. I know, I know. I am aware of this. Do you know why she went to Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened and fast. I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half-year-old chart? Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. Well, it's gotta be that new statement that just got added, right? Why would I go, uh, nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. But is it true? But what evidence do we have to prove that that is not the case? There was a lamp with some paint on it. Is it the paint lamp? I've, 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 no, no. No more crutches. I don't need these crutches. Get them out of here. I'm a big, strong man. So, it's gotta be. It's either the lamp. Uh, and I left. Is it the bullet? Found in the Miraculous Clinic safe, squished from the impact with the back of the safe. I don't, I have so many questions about why. And I also have a lot of questions about why for this. It's it's the bullet or the lamp. It has to be the bullet or the lamp. There's no way it's the forms again, right? The walkies charts? What are... Hmm, maybe I'm thinking about this in the wrong way. Why did... What is early access? Um... Hmm... Because the gun fired twice, she shot once in the safe for some reason. The, she knew that the bullet was in the safe, therefore she was not only there to get the chart, but also to get the safe, or, or the bullet. Tell me I'm onto something here, please. Please, please, if not this, then Lamp. Come on, Lamp, you can save me. I, I totally screwed up. You say nothing happened in that doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? Is that ice cream? Looks like a squished up ball of ice cream. Kind of like you, actually. You! <sighs> That's... That hurts, man. It's just not cool. Every time I get toasted alive, uh, that is a drink. So cheers. It's just... Ow. Ow! Ooh! You know what hurts more than the bullet, Alita? It's words. This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. Obviously. Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Well, they didn't even open the fucking safe. They did a terrible job. Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. How? That is like the first place you check. Are you kidding me? Come on, officers. This would not happen on Dick's watch. But there is a problem. How can you say that bullet was fired on that day? Let me tell you about the, oh God, what was it called? The, the rifling marks, right? It's like a fingerprint on a gun, but different. 
weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? That is true. He, that is, yes. <laughs> there should be a rule that every time the police are just horribly incompetent, that's a drink, but that would be every single investigation and every single piece of evidence that we ever present. So I, I, I can't, I, I can't do it. Huh? The pistol was taken from the Kataki Mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves a firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Not bad, Air Forehead. Thank you. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. And then it was. So immediate. 30 minutes later, we've all sat around, twiddled our thumbs, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Ah, oh, shit. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at that, at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus in order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. That's right. That's right. Order, order, order. Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? A lady Tiala knew about Waki Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him and then the bullet finally reached its destination? What? That reminds me. Apparently, the Kentuckys have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. However, she's not fucking with me. What? Oh my god! You keep talking trash about my Alita? And I'll sue you, lawyer man! You've gotta be kidding me, huh? What? Yeah, you said... You said you'd... You'd... You'd abuse my elite... What? Excuse you? Um, I think you mean a cute... Okay. M my little imposter? Abused my elite... What? Like, dude, does... I don't know. Same difference. Well, you can't have her. She's mine. It was me. I shot that doctor. Me. He left me to die, so I left him to die too. There in that park. <laughs> Clavier takes a bow and says, I rest my case, sir. Take him away, bailiff. Just cool down a second. You keep your hands off my Alita or I'll... T. T. <laughs> Miss Tiala? I'm sorry, I just... It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Something funny? Walkie, wake up and smell reality. Uh, Alita baby? The signature on the chart? The engagement? I mean, come on! It's so obvious! Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself! Alita... Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fraulein. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So, well, you're... You're not helping your case very much right now. So the family fortune is what you're really after. That's right, I wanted the money. No way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that! <laughs> Huffing copium right now. Buy the tank full. Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who, me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. What the fuck are you- What? Accuse. Accuse- Your honor, please don't tell me you're buying this. Of what crime, might I ask? Wait, what? Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got close to that brat because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the, with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about, Trucy? You had the most to lose if that chart was found. But I didn't have a pistol, now did I? Well, you could have taken walkies. You'd think he'd have mentioned that, no. Walkie's out of his mind. 
Walkie is not fit to take the fucking stand right now, and anyone knows this, if you've heard him speak for more than 10 seconds. All I've heard him say is, it was me, I shot him. That doesn't help our case. That's only because he's trying to protect you, simp. Sorry to intrude on this lovely conversation. What? But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What? Certainly, the Fraulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Uh... Maybe? Hmm. Hold on, give me a second here. You see? That chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. Ah! He... He boomed us. We have been boomed. Miss Tiala? Yes? It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiancé. Oh, I'm flattered. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget, we've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. Hmm, okay. The Maractus Clinic, part two. Ooh, exciting. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him! You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. Okay. Um, okay. You went back later? That chart was dangerous, you understand? I needed to get rid of it, that's why I went that day. You couldn't get the chart then, could you? And later, that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all- So you're the one that broke the window, as if that wasn't obvious, but like, this kind of seals the deal. Ah, that was you? That's what I'm saying, thump, crash. Ah, Apollo, that sound, it came from behind this door. Someone's in there, I wonder who it is. A break-in, they left uh, through that window. I guess I didn't break the window, but yeah. So you were the burglar. That was you too? If only I had one more minute. Okay, your honor, she just admitted to breaking and entering uh, where a bunch of cops were like trying to set up a perimeter to a restricted area. Can we, can we do something about that maybe at some point? Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing and brazen at that. Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Bes well, not yet, but <laughs> we'll get to it, don't you worry. Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They are gangsters, you know. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Hmm. Seems familiar. The Maractus Clinic, too. Okay. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. Let me speak to you. Why that day? That brat was uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. And that would bring in the police. And that chart would become evidence. Well, obviously not because they're too stupid to check the fucking safe for anything important. So no, you overestimated the police and that's the entire reason you're here right now. Oops and I'd be hung out to dry. <laughs> but the police didn't check the safe, did they? Thank you, Trucy, thank you. Well, they thought the crime scene was at the park. I'll make sure the responsible parties feel the heat. Someone's salary's getting cut for sure. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, Ja. Yeah, imagine that. No, definitely not. We will not allow the police to continue doing such terrible, unthorough investigations. It is a total miscarriage of justice, if that continues, and I don't like it. Do it. Make sure they feel the heat. I'm kind of thankful for that sloppiness myself, actually. That's what I said to you. Never mind, it's gross. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic late. Okay. Later meaning... When I heard what happened, well, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after, the 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in my way. But why did Dr. Maractus keep that chart around? It was clearly dangerous for him. He could have bur burned it, not buried it, but burned it, or buried it for that matter, because he's a coward. 
The chart was his insurance. Insurance? My signature on that chart, to be more specific. That made sure I couldn't betray him. Okay. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? Do I? I don't think I do right now. But you could have. Maybe. Hypothetically. Could have? Is this some new definition of proof? We'll ask Walkie. He'll tell... Apollo, you are the dumbest fucking man to walk the face of the earth. Oh my god. Walkie will tell the truth. We'll get to the bottom of this by asking Walkie. Might I remind you this is a cross-examination? You might want to keep your baseless theories to yourself. He's right, isn't he? Probably for the best. The less time that he is on the stand, Mr. Kataki, the better. Because God help us all when he gets up there and starts spouting out nonsense. And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Okay. Yeah, but... Um... But what? Do you have something to say? This case is over. If not, it was over the moment that brat was seen in the park. What's the point in dragging it out any further? I don't know. I, let me press a little harder. Frankly, I don't think it was. It, I don't think it matters if Doctor Maractus was shot in the temple or not. That's a really weird thing to say at the end of all of this. Because after this, we're done. I think we're seeing her true colors now. You don't say. She's trying to push all the blame onto Waki, and she's getting away with it because he's a big simp, Apollo! My bracelet didn't react to anything this time. I guess that means there's nothing worth perceiving. Time to get old school. Okay. Um, frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot. Why would you... Why, why are you saying that? Hold it! The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems... Let's review the facts again, shall we? Ooh, something important's happening. Okay. If the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Yeah, 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 he, sh he was shouted, turns. Yes, we heard the testimony on this yesterday. I remember, it was a big deal. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look and was shot. Boom! It's over. Objection. But that testimony was proven to be a lie. Yeah, it was, he was actually up here. Our egregious panty snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did witness the crime, but he was standing to the north next to the trash can where he tossed those panties. If Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. Silly, silly attorney. What? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Shit, do I? Um... No... Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. Good enough. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. Uh... But his location was proven! You can't write that off as him being mistaken! Slam! Then why don't you show us, Air Forehead? Show you... what? Must I explain everything? If you're gonna be super vague about everything, then yes, please. Very well, let's recap. Here we go. If the witness, Panties Guy, was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? I don't fucking... Uh, where, okay, so if he was here, he... So, did he turn his head? Is this even... I can't keep track of all these lies and misinformations. If he shouted, he turned his head, boom, left temple shot. But then how the hell do you shoot him in the right temple if he turns at that moment and then you hear the shot? Then that would mean that if he was facing this way to get shot on the right side of the head... That would mean it's in the car. Wait a second. Uh, I'm smart. Oh my god, that's why the flip-flop was found in the trash can, which was right. Wait, is this supposed to be the trash can? I, I, I don't know. It was the cart. It was. She was in the cart the whole time, and she was wearing the flip-flops, and she tossed the flip-flops into the trash. That's why we found that flip-flop. After we 
dug around a little bit and found one piece of evidence. We, we came back the next day and said, hey, that might be more evidence. I'll dig that out too. And it was. And the footprints. Oh my God. Now the footprints are hitting me. I am brain blasting so hard right now. Holy shit. I'm a genius. But wait, if the witness was standing there, how could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? <laughs> I merely laid out the facts for us. It is up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. Hmm, if you can, that is. Waki Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Palmaractus was the victim. Yes. Let's hear- Okay, I know. Where was the killer standing when they shot the victim? Uh, at the killer mark of the- someplace else. Right here. As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime. Without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Oh, I do. Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? Objection. No, don't you object me. It's time to raise the roof. And the stakes. What? Penalties are such frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Wait, did you- am I taking damage? Oh shit, well not yet, like so. Double penalty? I'll allow it, fuck it, why not? Air Forehead wishes to take us in a new direction? Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead! Okay... Challenge accepted. It's justice time! Are you sure, Apollo? Nah, I don't need it. The key is the witnesses, the witness Mr. Stickler's testimony. If we believe that, and we know where he stood, and the victim turned when he shouted, there's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from here, your honor! It was right here, your honor! Take that! I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude to Miss Alita Tiala. What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. <laughs> Graphics. Oh god, this is where she becomes a big white box, I remember. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. Yes. Power of the DS. This is it. He shouted just as he told us in his testimony. What? And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm literally Apollo. Cade Paulo? Yeah, it's, I, I can't think of anything catchier than that one. Oh yes, baby. I think so. I'm vibing hard. This is a fun case. I really like this case right now. You can't spell Cade without Ace. That is so fucking true. Cade Paulo McJustice. That's right. <laughs> oh yes. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right, towards the noodle stand. What do you think about that? Order, order, order! So you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? You got that right. Oh yes! Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand, which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park? Wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, babe, you should play Apollo- or Not Apollo, but Phoenix Wright Ace Attorneys 1 through 3. This is- We're not even getting to the ridiculous levels yet. I think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along- Objection! It's a heavy cart. There's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection. That's a fantastic question. Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby! Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand! Okay, uh, I can do that. Can I prove that? Do you want evidence that someone was in that stand, bitch? Well, I've got it! I've got it right here. 
Intriguing! Let's see what you've got. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Okay. That's gotta be the... I was talking about the slipper, right? This is the time, because it's the same, and that's her, and it's the... We found this at slippers used by patients at the Maractus Clinic. Big toe print found in left slipper. Type other retrieved from the entrance to People Park. Yes. It has, it has to be. It has to be. The Maractus Clinic, and they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in a trash can near the crime scene. And a single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. Ack! Yes. Oh, and Miss Tiala, your toe print was found in the left slipper, by the way. I tried to prove that earlier, but uh, I had to use your sandal instead. Erk! In other words, dot, dot, dot. This is proof you were inside that noodle stand. Eek! Yeah, more feathers. Where did they come from? I don't know. Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Yeah, you bet your ass. Yeah, it can. Observe the diagram, my friend. A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Have you played Minecraft? Yet you still cannot say this is a footprint, Ja. Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper! What if it was on the stand and simply fell onto the ground? It's not gonna leave that big of a print, that's... that's just stupid, man! And also another thing, a noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle-making trade. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Mmm, you have a point. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Obviously, yes. Apollo, I think I might be onto something. What? I think you... I think, sorry, I've figured out one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Justice, do you have proof that someone could have hidden in that stand? It sounds like Trucy does. I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. What? Oh my god, it's the only possible piece of evidence that... Wait, but this is stupid. How do you... How do you remove one noodle ball and that makes room for an entire person? I don't I don't know if that's really that li We took away one bowl there. It's a big ass bowl, okay? It's a huge bowl. But this does add up, right? This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Eldu noodles noodle stand. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of the Oh, yeah, it was like a lot of them. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I thought it was just the one outside. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, but I got there though. You know, the the logic was like 50% of the way there, and that was an it was 51% of the way there, and it 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 all connected good enough. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about all these other noodle bowls in the pot and all these other things we found in Maractus Clinic, but it also it's like what else could it be? There, there's it doesn't make any sense that it would be anything else. It connects, and that's good enough. In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic, what? A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? Mr. Aldoom was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there, too. Yes, I remember that. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiala. Stop! I don't like it. Nice pits. What? What do you think about that, Judge? I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than that spoiled brat's pickup lines. Okay. I would like to remind the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent. I'll show you a fairy tale. Mmm. Le legally speaking, in any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. Then please pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself, please. This is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand that night? Oh my god, dude, I don't know. And what was Alita Tiala doing inside of it? Well, kill the guy but then why time to get to the bottom of this case let's do that right here right now 
Tiala's explanation. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands, but Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me, so I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Oh, that was it. You knew about the botched operation, so you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I will make excuses. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. She just said, I won't make excuses. And that is the funniest thing that I have seen all night. I, um, I, Alita Tiala, will not make any excuses for my actions. I, I won't do it. <coughs> None at all. No, no, no. And cheers. What is this thing? Twitter, Ouija the God status. I, I'm click. What does this say? We don't need to worry about that. Uh, cheers, though. Cheers. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. So it's basically his fault. I told him that Brack got his health checkup report and that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice. Begin the thing. Yes, Your Honor. This is the last testimony, I think, maybe. Either I perceive the truth or it's over. Well, that's a... <laughs> that's a convenient little tip he just gave me right there. I like that. <laughs> okay, Tiala's explanation. That night, I went to ask... Well, let's just press them all, first of all. So, you did go to steal that chart. Were you listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have cornered him. True, it would have been impossible without a pistol. But what if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted the chart. That much is true. My reason was simple. Dot, dot, dot. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. Right? <laughs> it certainly would have put a damper on your wedding plan, I'd say. <laughs> Not only that, if the Katakis had gotten that chart, I would probably be brutally murdered. I'd probably be with Dr. Maractus now, pulling the great noodle stand in the sky. <laughs> it's kind of what I said. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. Who would want to die pulling a noodle stand? Probably not Maractus. When I die, it will be by my dis... <laughs> when I die, it will be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. Could we be a little less morbid, please? Jesus Christ, what is this, Danganronpa V3? Please don't. So you see, I needed that chart. But Dr. Maractus didn't understand. Spoilers, by the way. He didn't understand? He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. Ha, huh? I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. Please don't smile like that anymore. It's creepy. It's kind of hot. He was practically delusional. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. But why? They sent you? He thought the Katakis had sent me to get the chart. It makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. Don't make me laugh. The Katakis send me. They don't play with that way. If they known about that chart, they would have gone in there with guns blazing. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Okay. <laughs> if that was really all that happened, what were all those noodle bowls doing there? How should I know? There weren't any bowls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for your killer someplace else, okay? Do I detect uncertainty there? Oh shit, this is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually, I, I felt it respond. I couldn't see anything. You're smarter than me, Apollo. It's up to you, Apollo. You're smarter than me, Apollo. Time to perceive the truth. Here comes justice! Here it comes! Wh where was it though? It was the, like the last statement that we just touched, so I gave him one home. No! That- okay, so we know that one though. <laughs> so I gave up and went home, yada yada yada. But what is she doing? What- what the Alita doing? So I gave up and went home, all I did was talk to him. Stop right there! Are you touching your face? 
So I gave up? It's... It's gotta be something with your hand, obviously. This is like all it always is. I perceive you! Gotcha, Miss Tiala! Gotcha! I heard you just fine the first time. God, what? I wasn't aware we were playing paintball. She's one cool cucumber, that Alita. Hmm, maybe I spotted the wrong spot. But my bracelet reacted! There must be something in this testimony! I'll find your weak spot, Alita. Oh, I didn't lose any health? Oh, I can just spam this? Oh, that's crazy! That is insanely nice! But it has to be something with... Uh, is it... What, what this hand doing? Nothing. What am I looking at right now? <laughs> is it something with your eyeballs? I, per I perceive your eye. Gotcha! Maybe. Gotcha, Miss T. We, we didn't get it, did we? Okay. It's not gonna do it. But wait, this isn't the only one, though. Doesn't she? She does it here, too! This is the same sprite! I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family hand. W what if I do it here? Do I get something different? Why are you touching your neck like that? We very explicitly said something is weird about this sprite that we are looking at right now. But what could it be if it's not... Did I just choose the wrong spot? It's gotta be something about this hand touching her neck, right? How could it not be? Perceive confirm? Gotcha, Miss... No, it's, it's not gonna do it. Hmm. That is tough. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Press it one more time. If that was really all that happened... <laughs> what were all those noodle balls doing there? I don't know. Do I detect uncertainty there? I do. I know, I know I do. There is uncertainty, but, but like what? You have to pay attention to what part of her statement is highlighted. Oh. Oh. I see. I'm sure it explained that at some point, but I didn't pay attention. No, this is not what I, no, 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 no. Stop perceiving. That's not even what I, <laughs> I hit the escape key. I, I seriously hit the escape key being like, no, back out of this mechanic. I don't want it. Uh, but that's just not, we're gonna, I, ma I made a mistake. That just minimizes blue stacks. And that's not what I want. That does not make me go forward in the cross examination. Okay, so the last one, it's like, ooh! It's like, I gave up, I went home, that that's it. So I gave up and went home, that was it. I shall perceive you now. Let's do this. So I gave, I'm, I'm staring at your hand so intently. <coughs> and went home, but that's not true. What am I not getting? All I did- Oh, you're clinching! I, I saw- There's movement happening! I got him now! All I did was talk to- Now I understand! All I did was talk... And lie! What?! Show me proof! I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. God, I hope so. A little slip in confidence, and they give it all away. The proof is you, Miss Tiala! What?! All I did was talk to him, you claim. Yet you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My what? What are you talking about? You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? what, what, what? This is working better than I'd hoped. Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies, two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. Don't look at me like that! I, I told you the truth. It seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hand off your neck, can ya? Hmm, well now that you've pointed it out, I probably can. Hmm, it's it. Thank you, uh, Grant Ego 93 for the Prime. Thank you. Twitch? Like Twitch Prime Gamers? That's right, this is like Twitch Prime Gamers. And if you have Twitch Prime, now is the time to use it, please. Just go ahead and click on the subscribe button, just see what happens. You might even have it available right now. It is a real possibility. 
<coughs> are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something, right? You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim that mira in the Maractus Clinic office. Huh? And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. I do. What happened in the Maractus Clinic? It's not the shoot. Is it? Is it finally lamp time? <laughs> That's like the one thing from Maractus Clinic that we have not interacted with yet. We have the shoes, the heels. Thank you, L Leviathan Twenty One, for the prime. Thank you. Why was there blood on- I don't know if this has any connection to anything, but I have plenty of health, so fuck it. Come on, lamp! What's that? Lamp. You're touching your scarf again. Hmm. There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. I know that. Eh? Seeing how you hide your neck, I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp state. Wait a second. I've read this before. She takes off the scarf and then her head falls off. Oh my god. I, I know what happens. I know it. Well, spit it out. This talking in circles nonsense is killing me. Very well. The answer is very simple, Alita Tiala. Please remove your... Don't do it. Okay, everyone who is underage or scared, hide your eyes. It's about to get very graphic. <laughs> Eek! I will not strip for you in this courtroom, Mr. Justice, is what she should say. I think we got her. I think we did it. Objection! Objection! She will not strip for you in this courtroom, Mr. Justice. This is a trial to determine what happened in that park, yet we seem to have drifted off target. God, isn't that always the case? However, she did just freak out, so I know I'm onto something here. Objection again! We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting, as soon as the witness removes her scarf. I... I won't do it. This is insane. I'm an unrelated third party. I think we have it on good authority to claim that you are not an unrelated third party at this state of the investigation and trial. Are you out of your mind? I'm... Look, I'm unrelated. What do you got against me? I didn't do anything wrong. Hello? Well, what has the past hour and a half been for? Are you crazy? You out of your mind? I'm taking a drink for that one. That's level one absurdity. She she didn't do anything wrong. She's totally innocent. A blameless bystander. You can't order me to remove my clothes. Miss Tiala? I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Please remove your scarf. Ooh, ooh. No. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. And I won't. I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Alita Tiala? What? You're being strangled? That isn't what I think it is. Something did happen the night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back no matter what it took, even if you had to steal your fiancé's pistol to do it. But wait! Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck, it looks like they've the very opposite happened. Yes, exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was this witness, specifically. You tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened that night at the, that the, the, the that's what happened that night at the Maractus Clinic. Irk. Do it. Freak out. E she is a bird. Eek. Big eek. Cool. Order, order, order. Will someone please tell me what really happened? I told you the truth a thousand times already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. <laughs> this is an appropriate warning. Click, click. I've warned you. That gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. Looks like my clinic's seen its last patient. We have to get rid of that chart. Quick, open your safe. Give it to me. So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. Yes. Leaving me holding the short straw. Now, the question that I have is, how the hell do you end up in this position? 
There is a person holding a gun to your face. Your hands are up in the sky. You are raising the roof right now. How in the hell do you manage to grab a lamp and then strangle somebody with the cord from the position that Dr. Maractus is in? Th this is what we have to get it to the bottom of. He's quick? Not quick enough. But if I'm going down, I'll want some com company. You, bitch. And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord instead of the gun? Why would you not? I just grabbed the gun, personally. Palmaractus was serious. Deadly serious, if, if you will. Wink, wink. He really tried to strangle me. I must have blacked out. How the hell? I have so many questions. Then how do we arrive to the conclusion that we have arrived to? What happened? Dot. 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 So, you were the victim! What? She held a gun to his face! What do you mean? She- what? And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick, because you kissed it. I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There, are you happy now? Not really. Eh. <laughs> eh. I was out cold, almost killed. And you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand? But how could I? Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, one thing is clear. We now know what really happened at the Maractus Clinic, and it would seem that our victim was not entirely without blame himself. I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now, please? Can I leave? Hmm. Hmm. You bear some responsibility for the events that day, true? Yet, if you were also a victim, this court would- She held a gun to a man in the face and said, open your safe. What? This court would owe you some sympathy. What? Well, Mr. Justice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss Tiala. When did this happen? Suddenly everyone's sympathizing with her? Are you out of your mind? I shouldn't have said take off your scarf, I screwed myself over. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Hell no! Very well, this finishes the cross exam- Objection, objection, I object, your honor. Oh wait, he objects, your honor. I thought that was my job. <laughs> Not so fast, this party's just getting started. Now we rock! What? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look? Or do they not have the stomach to go all the way? Prosecutor Gavin! Palmaractus choked Alita Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? Yeah, no, is that not the logical question? What? Why would we not have any more questions for her? How did you- How did he get shot in the right side of the head? How are you in the noodle cart? I mean, there are a thousand questions we still have to ask. What? But what happened next? He's right. There is more. We don't know. No shit. Y yeah, of course. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even still, what if it was her in that noodle stand? Yes, I agree. Alita Tiala half dead. Dr. Morant is pulling that stand and a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand. What if it's all true? It is! That's how we got here! We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too, Prosecutor Gavin. Me? Fraulein, I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up until now. On the day of the murder, Waki saw his checkup report, from which he learned about the bullet still inside of him. So he took a pistol from the family stash with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine, quote unquote. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Waki. So she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him in order to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then something happened. Choke! Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. 
But what about Dr. Maractus? That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled Alita Tiala, perhaps he thought, to death. Oh, so he moved her quote on. He's a terrible doctor is what we're learning right now. Or at least he was just trying to transport the body. But then why would you not finish the job and then transport the body after? And then how the hell do you leave the gun on her? Why is the gun? So here's what I think happened. Choke, choke, choke. Alita is out cold. Either he knows that she's still alive or she doesn't or he doesn't know that she's still alive and he's a bad doctor either way so i'm going to transport this body by dragging it onto this noodle cart and then pulling it off to a different direction but i'm gonna leave the gun back there too that's that's not a good idea that's a very very bad idea i think what did he do after his crime i was just knocked out not dead from the state of his clinic and the scene of the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, Air Forehead, care to guess? Huh? Well, Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed- How in the- There is no way! Why is he a doctor? Is, is medical school that easy in Japanifornia? Dude, I could be a doctor right now, are you kidding me? I played enough Ace Attorney to be smarter than anyone else here. Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm gonna take the drink for a medical malpractice. Cheers for medical. I have to pour more water into my big. Actually, it's not a big orange cup. It's not even Baby Yoda cup. It's World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Lich King cup. That is the that is the cup that I have right now. Malpractice. Now that's good. Now, <laughs> now I like that one. Oh yeah, new cup? This is not a new cup. This has been an age-old cup, a staple, but a good cup. There must always be a Lich King cup until it gets one shot by Sylvanas. And, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go on a rant about Blizzard or the state of WoW, I, I won't do it. <laughs> You're not gonna fool me. Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? shoved her in the noodle cart. I'm so confident. Boom! As his next move, Dr. Mur Dude, there's no way this is incorrect, right? Stole Guy Eldun's noodle stand. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? So much he randomly stole a noodle stand? God, you are just... <sighs> no. It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place? Trucy, are you <laughs> are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ah! Wait, you don't mean? Oh, I do. Dr. Maractus is, did replace those bowls with something. Your quote-unquote corpse, Miss Tiala. My quote-unquote corpse. Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he'd killed you, because again, he's a very bad doctor. His next move would be to dispose of the body. That's crazy talk. You're all crazy. No. Let's think about it, logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind, but on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant, Waki Kitaki? I question your logic. What's this, Prosecutor Gavin? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in, the, in that direction to begin with? That's right, he had no reason to go there. Oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. What are you talking about? Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. What? Apparently, the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Maractus was heading uh, with his stand. Here, please, show us on this. To where exactly was the victim dragging that stand? Well, it was... <coughs> can I... Wait, why can I not see the bigger map? Um, whew. uh, so here's the stand. This is the stand. 
This is the cobblestone path, which he chose not to drag it. Here's the victim, him, Mr. Panty Thief. Where was he trying to go? To, oh, like, I don't know, just like away? Like, <laughs> this doesn't count if I click like all the way up here, right? Oh, I'm gonna lose so much health. It's up the path, up the fucking path. The victim was, no, it's not right. That's, oh uh, yes, of course, there. It's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I would like to continue. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, of course! There! Why? I'm young, Your Honor. I'm still making up my mind about a lot of things, okay? Perhaps you should leave the court until you grow up! Okay, sorry. To, to, all, to all of the way to over to here. There? That's a river! Yes, Your Honor. I scarcely need to explain why. I thought that was a... I thought that was a road. I, I thought... I didn't know that was a river. Wait. Oh, look at that. Okay. Still not a great idea. I mean, what? You dump her in the river, she floats down, like, to here, and then she gets snagged on a rock because it's a shitty little park river, and then you're just screwed. <laughs> I thought it was a... Never mind. Yes, Your Honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was going to throw me into that river. He should have too, you bitch. He didn't have many other options, Fraulein. That's scary. I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. <laughs> And then, the... <laughs> the... The D... The Dino... There's no way. There's just no way. Wesley Stickler, the panty-snatching fucker, walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts in that instant. And I quote... And I quote... The power of the Nintendo DS... Denouman? 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 There are so many different answers in chat immediately. Denouman. I don't know. He's just a pervert? Then shouted the pervert. So I shot him? You were the only one who could have stolen Walkie's pistol. It had to be you. The document. Well, Miss Diala. Hmm. Oof. Nice work. Thank you. You mean I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story to get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts and logic. If you're so sure he's making it up, give us another reason. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? Me! I said it all, clearly. But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Whereof what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? Must I always be the one to point out Air Forehead's errors? Huh? Ah, maybe there really is something. I believe the Fraulein speaks of Air Doctor's car. What? Okay, his car. That's right, the Maractus Clinic has that big garage in which sat a green sports car, was it? Yes, that's true. Why would he steal the stand in the first place? Um, if he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his own car. Ugh. So we find our victim without probable cause to steal that stand. And our defense without a case? Ah, oh, jeez. Um, I have an idea. You know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run, it was broken. Ah, what an excellent counter-argument, Fraulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. Eh? Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? That's right! He was hit by that car. The car that hit Mr. Wright was that green sportsmobile. Oh, yes! I nearly forgotten about that. That's understandable. There's a lot of things that have been happening recently. 
Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. Hmm, that's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? Urk. Slam. A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead, bitch! No! No! Damn it, we got boomed again! Order, order, order! Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Dr. Maractus use his car to carry the body? Um, Is that a groan of surrender, I hear? That's what I said to your mom, bitch. Hmm. Some advice, now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. Everything I've learned over the last two days? Mr. Justice, this contradiction casts doubt on your entire case. This is truly your last chance. Thank you, VHS for Life 97, for gifting five tier one gifted subs. Thank you. I will take this drink for that rule that I made and also think about this. Someone else stole the stand. No, the car didn't run. Mm, uh, he carried the body in the car. Wait, he carried the body in the, what? No, obviously not the middle. The car didn't run. Where's the car as evidence? You you can't bring up these giant pieces of evidence and not let me re-examine them all thoroughly. Thank you. 100 He said examine everything, so I will do that. 100 bits VHS for life 97. Uh, guess who got their account back? Let's go. Congratulations. That is awesome. I'm glad about it. I don't think the map has anything to do with the car. So we're operating under the assumption that the car didn't run. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. Right? Dude, if someone else stole the stand, I, 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 I might just scream, like, really loudly and get a noise complaint. But that's not gonna happen. That is something that I have to look out for now, though. I am currently in my apartment back in Norman, Oklahoma, and there are dudes right below me. And to the other side of the wall that I'm screaming into right now, so they might be mad at me, but, like, fuck them. They don't understand the art, the process behind all of this. I am a good neighbor. But I have to scream sometimes. If the car didn't run, why did the car not run? It's not the map. It's I think the car can run without the mirror, I think. The bowl is irrelevant. Trucy's panties, I don't think that had anything to do with it. The cell phone, that was under the car. Found in the Miraculous Clinic garage beneath the car property, Wesley Stickler. We did go over this in great detail, but I don't think that's right. Fingerprint powder? No. Miraculous autopsy report? No. Knife? No. Noodle stand? No. Little plums bloomers found in the trash can outside the people part? No. Walkies checkup report? Uh, no. Pistol? No. Slippers? No. Elite sandals? How? Lamp? No. Walkie? No. No. I'm an attorney. Did, did you guys know that I am an attorney? Oh God. Oh God. I am now remembering what was in the tailpipe of the car. Would this really make it not run? That is prop for a performing magic found an exhaust pipe of a car at the Maractus Clinic. But are like, what? I'm not much of a car guy, but is this, let's do it. The car did not run, sir. I have an idea. It's all coming together. I've got this. That night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Ha! Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiala. Put one and another together. Put one and one together, even. And the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. Because <laughs> Trucy's panties were stuffed in them, right? Come on. Let's see, panties again? Oh my god. All sorts of things come out of my panties. Yep. Yep. Gonna go ahead and uh, pour a drink for that one and drink it too. You know what's fucked? I went to the liquor store earlier today to get alcohol for the apartment that I moved into. And Sky Vodka, $27.99 a bottle. $27.99! Back in Kansas, it was 1999. 
So I don't drink it anymore. I, I've, I've officially retired from Sky Vodka while I live in the state of Oklahoma because fuck that. And now I am drinking Smirnoff number 21 vodka because it's cheap and it does the same thing. It sucks. That is such an Oklahoma moment. That is bullshit. Are you kidding me? $27 for what? That is insane. It makes me mad. All sorts of things come out of my panties. Let's just let let's just sit on that for a second. Okay. Even the truth, I don't Let's not worry about that. Hmm? Huh? Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these panties, the latest in a string of similar thefts actually. But that night, the snatcher was caught in the act. A brave young girl chased the thief. There's doggy bork bork. The thief until he hid. In the Maractus Clinic garage. What? The snatcher hid the panties before running. There before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hid them. I do, I do. Hmm, why weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? I can't believe the judge is the one to call this out and actually remember that. That is very impressive of him. I'm proud. Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home. Then my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Whoa, that's good foreshadowing for the thing that we're talking about right now, back then when we got it. Too bad, it looks like such a nice bike too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Whoa, my mind is being blown right now from the, all the foreshadowing. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Is that, we're gonna need the Mythbusters on this one. I feel like if I stuffed a pair of panties in the exhaust pipe, it might run like shit, but it's probably gonna run, right? I don't know, man, I don't know. My, how interesting. While Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling, the panty snatcher snuck into Maractus' garage. From that time until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. Wh what? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, shred it. Mm. Awesome. D did I get it? This wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. Uh, so it does. Yep, I'm screwed. I'm going to jail. Goodbye. We did it. Where? Where am I? So dark, can't see, cramped. I feel gun next to me for some reason. The pain, my throat is burning. What's your problem? Yo, you, I mean you, doc, I know what you did. Ah. Uh, Walkie? You lied to me, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man. Wait, let me explain. Fine, I'll give your last request, fine, explain. Listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me. No, he'll ruin everything. Why does she have the gun? Because he thought she was dead, Ouija. Why, it, there's no concern in giving a gun to a dead person. What are they gonna do? Rise from the grave and then shoot you in the right temple? Absolutely, it's, oh, it's so silly. This, this is really silly. He's a terrible doctor and a, he's just stupid and he kind of deserved it at the same time. He'll ruin everything, I have to stop him. Cease! This, uh... <coughs> Where's Mr. Hat? Funny, this isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well, too bad. Yeah, for you. We win, we did it. There's still one mystery, is there? I feel like we've got everything, right? 
How did you manage to disappear from that stand? In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police, which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Maractus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped in. Why would you? Oh my God. Oh, she's so stupid. <laughs> I just left a whole bunch of footprints in this wet soil. I'll, you know what I'll do? I gotta ditch these shoes, cause they're evidence. I'll put them right next to the scene of the crime, which was good enough, until young Apollo Justice walked across it and said, wait a second, maybe I should check this trash can for evidence. And then I did, and then I picked up one thing and I saw something else in there too. And I was like, eh, it's probably not important. Then I walked away and then I came back the next fucking day and I said, maybe I should check that same place for evidence one more time, like just in case. And then, whoa, what do you know? A key piece of evidence. I sure am glad that the police didn't see this the first time and I didn't see it the first time either, apparently. Ah, oh, it's so silly. Ah, oh, it's so dumb. It's crazy. That was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. Well, I mean, that's true. Why did you do that? Eh? I believed in you! You and your anything agency! If anyone would get Walkie declared guilty, it was you. Why? That is literally not my job. Did you think I was a prosecutor? Because you made a mistake, I'm afraid. <laughs> what? I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tiala doing? She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems clam for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. He figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice, now is a good time to review all that you know. Everything you've learned. Yeah, he kind of just gave it to me on a silver platter, huh? He lost, but I didn't exactly win either. What do you mean? Yeah, we did. Tell that to the scoreboard. Hmm? Something to matter, air forehead. Looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Not guilty! Woo, we did it! The first not guilty. I guess the second, but still. Court is adjourned! Goodbye. Farewell. Man. What a trial. 4 12 p.m. Oh, I gotta go to bed. It's like I only got two hours of sleep. From 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. See, I remember that detail. June 17th, 4.12 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number two. Great job, Apollo. You did it. Yeah, we did. Somehow. Me, mostly. Walkie's off the hook. Free to become the gangster he's always wanted to be. Maybe this was for the worst. And he has you to think. Hey, attorney man. You're going to pay for what you did to my Alita homes. Or to blame, I guess. You give me my, my Alita back, stupid pointy head attorney with a death wish! Enough, Walkie, I'm your father! And stop it! Ah, Mr. Kataki, hello! It's high time you opened your eyes, Walkie! What do you know, old man? I think it's about time you open yours! Giving up the life, trying to become some kind of businessman? Don't talk about what you don't understand, Walkie! I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. That's probably for the best. If not in jail, wouldn't that <laughs> wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out? God, can we? We know why Mr. Kataki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Waki. Oh, Waki, Apollo has something for you. Uh -huh, I do. Way to put me on the spot. Yeah, what's that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kataki trying to become a businessman? Bro, what? Why is he trying to become a businessman? No, 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 no. That's irrelevant. Uh, no, no, no. What? Hmm. Patient name, Waki Kataki, June 14th, Metallic Contract found near heart, urgent exam needed. What, does he not have the money to do the urgent exam already from all of his crime lord syndicate bullshit? Is it Waki's checkup report? It might be. Not this, not this, not this, not that. Um, you are still going to jail. 
Because of the whole pistol and like illegal firearms thing, I'm afraid to say, Walkie's chart? Found in the Miraculous Clinic, safe, signed by Nurse Alita Tiala. Bullet lodged near the heart. He needs clean money. Well, it's the Walkie's chart or then the Walkie's... Well, if we know that a bullet's lodged... In... This one's more specific. I think it's this one or the checkup, but I, I want to say it's this one, right? Oh, if it's not if it's not this one, it's the other one. I'm going to be so mad. Think about it, Walkie. Think about your condition. What? I talked with your mom, Little Plum, yesterday. It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I can't believe I'm just now noticing this, and I will take a drink for me being unobservant. Who is that on his shirt? Ignore the jacket. Who is this? Who Who is this funny little character? Ten dollars? Who is he? Oh my god. I can't- the entire game. The entire fucking time I've seen this character, I didn't even acknowledge it a single time. And it's finally happening! I hope Dick's getting royalties on this one. I hope he's living the high life right now. He designed the character of the century, and he's just rolling on Easy Street. Let's go. Let's go, Badger. That's the funny Badger. I love him. She doesn't mean... You aren't really, are you? <laughs> it's big wins. I searched the globe and I found one. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Waki. But it's an expensive procedure. Man, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. Why? It was the gangster life that did this to you, Waki. I want to help you and I want to do it clean. What? It's your son! Those were his eyebrows? Holy shit! Please understand, Waki. Daddy. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Man, I see how it is, old man. Always you looking out for me. Waki. Listen good, old man. One day, one day, I'm gonna take you out. Then we'll see who's the OG. You try to hide in your business suit, I'll find you, stupid old geezer. Did I get it wrong? That was sad. My walkie. No, it's as it should be. Mr. Kataki, I liked him more without the puppy dog eyes. I'm glad to have met you. I'm not so good with words, but I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. Who, me? No, I don't think. Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest, the Kataki Lime Pie. He's opening a pie shop? That's awesome. I love this cute little mascot, this cute little creature with the Animal Crossing leaf head. That's ah, adorable. So long. Goodbye. And he was gone. Well, let's go home. To the right, anything agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aw, we make a good team. Don't just stand there, let's get going. Huh? Why not? She did help me out. And there's a few questions that still need answers. A few que- more like a shit ton of questions that need answers. What are, what are you fiddling with? Like this power of mine that she showed me. And my bracelet? If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. The end. To be content. Though I can't say I care much for what her father has become. Oh, that's right! We have to go someplace first. What? Where? Why to claim our reward from Mr. Eldoon? Ah, oh, the salty noodles, right. You can have my bowl if you want. He got a stand back already. Oh, and after that, you can come see my show with a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat. Pull him out. Oh, it's special, all right. Please, anything but Mr. Hat. I don't like Mr. Hat. The end. There it is. We did it. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's hot. Turnabout Serenade from this man. Man, we've only been streaming for like two hours. It's not even that long. Mm, but do I... Do hmm. But doing the rest of this investigation is going to take so long. Start this time. Sheesh. 
kind of a sheesh moment. Do we go long? Do, do we do the entire... I, I want to do the entire investigation of this. Everyone's saying, Star, I paid you, damn it. Look, a lot of people play me, pay me. Give me one moment. I got to go to the restroom, and then I'll decide whether or not... Because, like, if I start this, I want to do the entire investigation, which will take, like... It's going to be hours. It's, like, it's so long. <laughs> they all take so goddamn long. Oh, oh, mama. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Enjoy the tunes. Goodbye. If I start this episode now, it's going to be another couple of hours of me playing this video game. We all need to understand this. Arigato. Not that I'm necessarily opposed to it, because I do like the video game and I kind of want to keep playing. Arigato, the radical capital for the 100 bits. Well, Cade, do you think? Third case syndrome? Ooh, that's true. $27.99 if you start now? Hmm. That is a decent chunk of change. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? What else do I got going on tonight? I owe you all more than I should originally because I haven't streamed in the past couple of days. That's him! That's the man! He's the rockest! Ooh, he's rocking! Ooh, he's shredding! That guy did it. The one with the weird hair. He killed it. He killed him. We love you! This is me to my chat. That's you, chat. All of you. Rock on, everyone! This party's not over yet! We're gonna do the third trial! Get out your- That's right, baby! The night's just getting started! Thank you for coming to the Gaviniers, guilty as charged. This ends the first part of tonight's show. There will now be a 20-minute intermission, where nothing bad will happen. Definitely not. <sighs> there he is. July 7th, 8.05 p.m. Backstage Hallway. This is so cool! Us at a Gaviniers concert! Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gaviniers putting the sick back in music. Well, I thought Mr. Gavin was really nice. I bet you did for some reason. Sending us those tickets at 20% off? 20% off?! I hate this dude so badly. I hope he gets shot next. They're hard to get a hold of, you know. When you invite people to a concert, it's usually for free. VHS for Life 97. Thank you, VHS for Life 97. Thank you. Cents. 27 snacks. I'm a man of my word. Enjoy your normal vodka with this little. Thank you. I will. Let's head to his dressing room, Apollo. How? Ho I don't want to go there, but like, come on. No, I don't think we should do that. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a Gavineer show. 
Um, Trucy, you didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? Oh, this guy? Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Clavier. What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. Hmm. What kind of a fan? Let me think about this real fast before we continue. What kind of a fan would Trucy be? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over gods of rock. God awful, maybe. Boom! Zing! Hell! Got him. I bought all their stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gavineer albums and 15 concert videos. Jesus Christ, that was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. Is he that hot? <laughs> I, I'm not a girl, so I don't know, but like got 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Thank you for the five gifted tier one subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Five gifted tier one subs. Uh, Sarazols. Sarah's, I'm so sorry. I'm always going to mispronounce it. Sarazols. Yes, yes. Yes, he is that hot. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, let me go ahead and take that drink right now. Is this a, is this a first time... Trucy Sprite that we're looking at right now? I don't recognize it. I don't know it. Cheers. She is making the funny anime face. <laughs> I know he's, everyone in the game is hot. That is the point of Ace Attorney. Unless they're explicitly supposed to not be hot, then they are, of course they're gonna be hot. Of course. Guys, come on. That's, that's literally the point. Who would have imagined me here at a Gavineers concert watching Prosecutor Gavin rock? To be honest, he was kind of cool, and I'm kind of in love with him right now. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy, though. No, just, just between you and me, player. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, my God. There is too much shit here. Do not make me investigate all of it, please. Ah, you made it. Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets and being dressed and the invoice you sent along with them. You were incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, ja. And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. Lammy Royer's singing? I just know it. Siren of the Ballad. Oh yeah, that flyer said she flew all the way over for this show. <laughs> so she's going to die or she did it. What is this? Wait, I'm just now noticing this guitar on the left. What is, who? That's right, I happened to catch her show a while overseas. Her voice is divine. We put that in orange because it's important. She's God. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. Lammy Royer? Lammy Royer? Lammy Royer. There's no way I'm pronouncing it right ever. I'm sorry. You praise me too highly. Who the fu- Whoa! Who's this guy? He's huge! Ah, allow me to introduce my- uh, Mr. <sighs> allow me to introduce Mr. Romaine Lettuce. Lamoire's manager and her interpreter, incidentally. It is a great honor for us to be here, and a great honor for Lemoyer to be heard in this country. It's like drag- What the fuck is- I need an interpreter right now. Romaine? Oh, Romaine? That voice, it sounds so awesome, but I can't hear it. <laughs> it's Lammy Rar. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. That's kind of what I said. Whoa. Humming, 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 humming. Ooh, it's Lemmy Royer. I'm actually meeting Lemmy Royer. Lemmy Royer, mysterious songstress. Her quiet, deep song glides through the air. She killed a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. Now this is music. She's a real artist. Hubba da hubba da human ho. Lamaria says. We have long looked forward to this joint performance. 
Ah, Lamoyar, your voice. Lam Roar. It is art! Humana, humana, humana. Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. Who the fuck? I've seen this kid somewhere before. Have I? Is this true? He plays piano at all of Lamy Roar's concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dying breed, I hear. Trucy! Allow me to introduce Maki Tobai. He's blind. Machi? I don't know. I don't know what the pun is there, but there I know it's there. This is why he never strays far from Lamy Roar. They are always together. He talks in Braille. They're like characters from some fairy tale, or an anime, or like an anime video game. Lamy Roar is so, um, what's the, what's that? Exotic! She's exotic, and mysterious, and exotic. She does seem quite pretty, at least her eyes do. Here is a kind of sightseeing music. Huh? She travels the globe, putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, her songs remind us of, some, remind us of something close and warm. Sights into song? That's so poetic. She was gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The guitar serenade. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait. And now it is time to play Among Us. For the next part, we're giving the Gavineers hard rock a little rest. Lamy Roar, the stage is yours. Please do not get murdered brutally in front of thousands of people. Humana, humana, humana. The band members will not play during Lamy Roar's ballad. Only Maki's tender tones and Lamy Roar's dual set voice. And my guitar, of course. Like, I'll be there too. I'm cool. Woohoo! Nights like this make it all worthwhile, you know? I should have learned to play the guitar. I. Oh! Uh, uh, I could have been him! Oh, uh, I could have been so cool! There's not much romance in Chords of Steel! Nobody likes a good singer, after all. That's unattractive to women, I've heard. Shall we hit the stage then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin. Take care, your hearts aren't stolen away, Ja. Okay, let's get back to the concert hall, Polly! Don't call me that, stop it. Sugar, sugar. Oh, that night, in your embrace. He killed her, he shot her. When you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so tight. Graphics. Whoa, ascend. Ple pleasure, even pleasure. But a fleeting melody. It wraps itself around me. And now through the air I fly. This translates super well. She's going to die, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Where did, what? Burning on in my heart. Uh-huh. I'm freaking out right now. Fire. Burn my love away. So she died of... Oh, shit! Fire! Oh, my God! But for real! Like a bullet of love. Fire. Take my life away. No, don't do that. Do not take the life away, please. This is a different girl. Guitar, guitar. <laughs> Up together to the sky. Okay. July 7th, 905 p.m. backstage hallway. Wow, wasn't Lam Lamy Lar La Lamy Roar? Lamy Roar amazing? I even cried a little. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Yeah, that was even that even surprised me, and I'm a magician. What a production. What a destruction, you mean. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think he's my new hero. I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's go to the... Uh, let's get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. 
There's 20 minutes till the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? A lot. July 7th, Gavineer's dressing room. What the fuck was that? Was that... I was never consulted. Sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I've asked the man in charge. I play New Rock, not Great Balls of Fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind to fire whoever's responsible. He seems mad, kind of. Apollo Justice, were you the one who tried to torch me? Now, what is wrong with this dude? What type of mindset do you have to be in? How salty do you have to be? How rent-free do I live in your head? To imagine your guitar catches on fire on stage in front of thousands of people, and you're thinking to yourself, did Apollo Justice Ace Attorney do this? Is this his? Did he do this? I bet it was him. Oh, I, be I, I could see him doing it too. Come on, man. Sh just come on, man. Hey, I did not do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar serenade is ruined. It's ruined. Why not use that one back there, the funny one? Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. And we're playing the guitar song. However, uh, I think I take it all back. That is probably going to be where I'm ending the stream. We played a lot of Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. And we're going to do the rest next time. So I'm going to stop it right now. Nobody likes a good singer. Say that to my face. Well, I mean, that's what he said. He said it, not me. Okay, I'm going to stop the stream now. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it all. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, I see that Family Jewels is currently streaming. Let's go, go raid Family Jewels. Um, I'll do it too. I, I swear to God, I'll do it. Hang on. As soon as I have the ability to do so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone go say hi to Family Jewels. It will be awesome. Slash. Raid. Family Jewels. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, and thank you, and farewell, and goodbye, and I'll see you all later, and uh, next time, we will do the rest of the investigation. Goodbye. Farewell. See ya.